Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome back to the Modern C++ series. In today's lesson, we're going to continue our discussion about format, just showing you one upcoming feature in C++23 that's going to make your life just a little bit easier when using the format library for, well, printing things out. And we've got a few other things that we want to talk about in the CPP reference that are going to be useful, such as things like print, print line, which also uses some of the format stuff that we've talked about before. But we're going to go ahead and put those in separate videos and just focus on format today. So with that said, if you didn't see my previous video on standard format for outputting things, go ahead and check that out. Um, and again, format is the main thing here. But what I actually want to do here is just pick up where we left off. And I had some example like this, something of this uh, nature here, where I have uh, a format string here. I'm just using C out here to print things out. And we talked about different things like using the left and right curly braces here, which is basically telling us, hey, do the substitution for whatever is here. So in this case, the first element of this vector here. Now, again, this is a C++ 20 feature here. So you need to be on the cutting edge to compile this. So if I go ahead and compile this, you might get an error. Again, check what your default uh, G++ version is. I believe we need version like 13 or something uh, from the last video is what we uncovered. So uh, we needed to make sure we're using uh, G++ at least 13 here to compile and run this program. So no problem there. And we can see like and subscribe to, uh, well, I'm just printing out some value here from the vector. But interestingly, what I want to go ahead and show you in this video is let's say that I have something here and let's make it a more uh, relevant message like V1. And I just want to print out this whole container here. OK, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, try to compile this and we're going to get something that's broken here. OK, it's going to give us all sorts of error messages. Uh, and the reason for this is we actually need to use uh, C++ 23. So let's go ahead and try to upgrade to uh, 23 here and still some error messages. OK, so maybe we need G++ 14 or whatever. Uh, I don't have that currently available on my system. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is just copy this, uh, what I have here. And I'll show you exactly how I'm going to do that by just uh, using cat here in the main program. Let's just copy this here. And what we're going to go ahead and do here is switch my windows and go to Compiler Explorer. So if you don't have some feature available, maybe you're on a work system, for instance, I love using Compiler Explorer. We haven't actually dove into it in a while here. Um, and let's go ahead and try this now with uh, GCC 14.1 here. Now we're still getting this um, error message here where it's saying, hey, this isn't part of the standard. So again, you can set your compiler options up here. Let's go ahead and set the standard to uh, at least 20. Um, and let's go ahead and see if we can print out a collection here. So we're going to get some more errors here. Let's try 23 here. Uh, yeah, sorry. At this point, if we go ahead and look at CPP reference and the C++23 uh, matrix here, I think the format stuff, and I think this falls under ranges, just isn't available for GCC here at the top here. I think we need Clang uh, 16 here uh, and the lib uh, standard library uh, for that. Uh, so let's go ahead back here and see if we can fix that. Now, something that I like to do, um, you know, if you're just following along in this series and learning about different features, is just to go to the trunk version. I mean, let, let's actually try this with GCC. Um, I didn't try this in particular. I'm actually curious if this will build here. Yeah, so they might not have this feature uh, built in. Let's go ahead and just put in uh, Clang here. Uh, and we're going to get, uh, actually, let's just type in trunk. That's a good way to filter here for like the latest versions of each compiler. Um, let's see, let's try this Clang version here. And OK, so we're still getting like issues here with the compilation here. Uh, but if I look at that feature matrix, maybe I need to be using um, the standard uh, C++ library here. So you can actually specify what that is. Let me see if I can get this right here. Uh, standard lib equals lib uh, standard C++. Let's see if that does the trick here. Uh, so you can actually choose the library here. Uh, let's see here. Maybe try version. Uh, let me make sure I have the right clang here. We got a few di different ones to choose from. Yeah, I think I like this one here. Let's go back to trunk. And again, I just want to make sure that I'm using the latest version here. Yep, that looks good. So uh, let's go ahead and try uh, to change this around here. Um, and it looks like this didn't uh, work here. Uh, and the reason for that is uh, I probably just messed up this flag here. Um, and there's actually uh, the, the standard C++ 
uh, versus libc++ is just a little bit of an issue here. And we're going to see that this works in a second. Like, I believe this uh, libc++ is like the default for the uh, Clang compiler and standard C++ is default for the GCC compiler. Um, so again, uh, you know, you're going to see that we get like these GCC errors here. Um, and for this, we're, we're okay here. Uh, for this feature because this is the standard library implementation that works with uh, Clang. Um, so again, maybe you'll, you'll run into that uh, little uh, snag here. Uh, but again, we do need the, uh, let's see, we could actually go back and try like 18. Um, but if we try this with C++ 20, let's see if this will work here. Now it's, it's supported on the library. Yeah, still not gonna do it here. So again, this is the probably the most, um, at this point in the series, cutting edge video here. But what it gives us here, if you have this available, and soon you will have this available, is the ability to just print out our containers using standard format, which is gonna be a really nice feature in C++. So again, I just wanna do this as a little bit of a follow-up since last video we just showed how to print individual variables. It's nice if you could just print out the entire collection for quick debugging things or just seeing uh, various structures here. Now, we've still yet to talk about how to print out custom structures, so we'll go ahead and do that in a future video as well. Uh, but hopefully this uh, is useful for you. And if you were struggling with this or just had questions uh, about it, you know, this could be one of your fixes. Again, you're going to have to be on the latest version of C++, uh, and you might have to adjust your standard library, again, depending on when in time you're watching this in the future and what platform you're using. All right, folks. So anyways, hopefully that was helpful. And with that said, as always, I've got uh, various courses on C++ and things. And of course, you could follow along on this series and track your progress for free there. So hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully that's useful for you. And it continues our discussion about format and just nicer way to work with data in C++. Anyways, folks, thanks for your time and attention. I'll look forward to your discussion below and see you in the next one.